So this morning, I uh, had to air up this right front tire on Steer Crazy, and uh, getting kind of tired of that. It has a slow leak for some reason. Haven't uh, exactly figured out. I guess just uh, wore out tire. There's no tread left on it, and uh, I can't figure out for the life of me why it would be leaking. But uh, to be quite honest, it makes me a little nervous to air that one up. At the same time, that rear tire was low this morning for some reason. So I may have a new leak. And a few months back, we uh, had an issue with this machine, but we actually mounted this tire. And for anybody who knows anything about tractor tires, this one is actually mounted backwards for where this is located on the machine. But that was actually mounted to replace this tire on Steer Crazy. So my intention today is to pull that tire off. I'm just, just going to crib up underneath there. I'm just going to pull that tire off. And I'm going to pull that rear one off. I'm going to recrib that back a little bit differently. But I'm going to put that tire on this one. And replace this one. I'm going to replace this tire. I have another tire over there. So it's, I'll dismount that one. Replace that tire. And I'll dismount that one. And fix whatever's wrong with it. O-ring, valve stem, and check for any other leaks. look carefully at that left front tire on Steer Crazy, you will notice that uh, 
it's almost flat. Apparently this time of year all my tires want to go flat. I don't know what the deal is, but I don't really have tire issues with this machine other than that right front tire that was giving me so much problem. All the other tires seem to be doing good and then all of a sudden, no, they're all flat. It hasn't been that long ago that I uh, air checked all these tires on Steer Crazy. I knew that Steer Crazy 2, all those tires, except for the one that I fixed there on the left front, um, they were all kind of slow leaks, but I expected it on that machine. We don't use it as much. At this point in the video, I was going to show Steer Crazy lifting that tire off Steer Crazy 2. And uh, my camera was in the sunlight and it decided to overheat and stop recording. So I cooled the camera off, and took a break, had an adult beverage, and came back down and went at it again. You know, breaking this tire down turned out to be a little bit of a challenge. It hasn't been broke down for a while and the rim was rusty. And uh, as you'll see at the end of the video, the tire was full of water.
I don't know if it'll come out, but uh, this whole tire is completely full of water. I saw it leaking when I was trying to break it down a while ago. It hadn't been broke down in a while. Things were pretty rusty. And uh, sometimes you got to use the correct end of the stick to get it to go. nice brown muddy water in there and we'll dry it out and buff up the rim and stuff and uh, tighten up this valve stem uh, looks like yeah it might be in okay enough shape I've checked the gaskets on it but uh, I have to replace it and I'll replace it. I don't want any more leaks. And got the valve stem tightened up in there. It looks like it's in pretty good shape for as old as this thing is. Got the rim kind of cleaned up. Got the ring that goes on there cleaned up. I dipped out the tire. It's almost dry. Got to get the other bead cleaned up on the tire. And then we get the tire mounting compound and goop all that up. And then uh, put it all back together. Oops. Got it roughed up, got the glue. And we're just gonna put the patch on it and roll it down. good now we'll just check the tire one more time make sure there's nothing else in it these old tires have had a rough life so it's hard to say and kitty cats here to help out too I guess so my uh, youngest grandson came over and helped me get this tire mounted up and put back on the machine. And uh, we also reblocked the back of this. And the tire on the other side does have a slow leak still. More than likely has a uh, nail in it like that tire did. I'll get to it. It's not a uh, real priority right now. I just wanted to get this stabilized enough that I could pull the front tire off up here for Steer Crazy. And Steer Crazy 2 is going to have to do without a tire for a little while until I get around to mounting another one up for it.